Okay, we're back to time management. We know that we're going to have to paint the pilot. And I, uh, what I did was I went through all my stuff and uh, dug out all the white paint that I had. And now I can't find my pilot. And I ended up with about three or four partial quarts. So I poured them into one and ended up with a quart of white paint. And I cleaned the can up. I got that over there. And, uh, well, now I'm going to have to cut the camera and find the pilot. I don't see what happened to him. Oh, he's sitting in the cockpit. No wonder why. <laughs> so we're going to have to have his helmet white to start with. So I mixed up some white paint. And we'll get him drying while I'm doing the rest of the fillets. Because he'll probably get painted tonight. So I mixed up some white paint. And I got an Iwata airbrush here. And we're going to dust on some white. I probably should paint the whole pilot white. Because white is an easier color to paint than, than the flush tone. And he really looks good. So we'll give him a coat of white and let him dry and then <clears throat> probably half an hour from now give him another coat. Normally I don't go to this much detail on pilots, but because of what this airplane is, I'm going to detail up his helmet, red, white, and blue, just like the original. with good detail. I don't think I'm going to clear the helmet. But... Okay, so we got one coat on there. Before I get it too hot and melt the plastic, we'll let him dry. And uh, I'll come back. I'm, there's a, a bead that goes all the way around like a bell helmet. I'm going to paint that black. I have a real small brush. I'll be painting that all black. And it's got a buckle in the back. And I'll paint that. This is, uh, like I say, be more detailed than my normal pilot. So, when I put another coat on, I'll be back. But time management, we're going to continue sanding. Uh, see you in a short. The sanding is pretty well complete on the fillets. And what we're going to do now is is I call it the detail filleting. I'm going to mix up some super fill and I'm going to go over just the spots that uh, need a little. I've finished sanding the nose off, getting it sanded in so it flows exactly perfect from nose to spinner. You can't feel the bump or anything. Um, like I keep telling you in this uh, in this series finishing is all about sanding and I mean you gotta sand. I've been sanding at least 10 hours today and I would expect We're going to be sanding another 10 before it's ready to even shoot. I have my pilot, uh, his helmet's drying. It's white. I'll go ahead and change the paint in the airbrush and we'll get the blue on the front of his helmet and let it dry. And then we'll get the red stripes and then I'll paint his face and he'll be ready to come out. This started off as a really, a really quick build. I mean, put it together relatively quick. Two weeks I had it on its wheels. 
but I foresee that it's going to be probably a month of sanding and fitting. Uh, I want a, I want an outstanding classic airplane, not just not just a classic airplane. I want an outstanding classic airplane. So it's going to get even more detail than I did on my Thunderbolt, more detail than I did on my Monado, my Continental XL. I'm going to try to make all everything just uh, fit and align perfectly. I went around the gaps again. <clears throat> I just I just keep going around the airplane to see where we're at. And uh, let's get the pilot and set him in there. And... This is the morning of day 22. Uh, I thought I'd finish day 21 off with the morning of day 22 because the pilot is painted and uh, he's in, well, not installed, but uh, I'm going to do the canopy uh, today. And, but I thought I'd give you a picture of what he looks like. See if it focuses, and it doesn't. <laughs> but uh, he's a super, uh, super neat looking guy. Got a little uh, morning after shadow and a mustache. And uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to do today, I'll start the video off with uh, we're going to paint this area right here underneath the, co the cockpit the canopy white and then I'll do the floor glue the pilot and I'll get the canopy mounted today and that'll kind of <clears throat> finish that area off then I can go back to sanding as I told you at least a dozen times it's all about sanding and I mean there is a ton of it <laughs> but what are you gonna do if you want uh, if you want a super nice airplane you're gonna have to sand Let's get the camera off the tripod anyway, and look at it. Anyway, this is the uh, the picture of the uh, Continental on day 22, and by the end of the day, I'll have the canopy mounted. Uh, fillets are sanded in. There's still another detailing to go on the super fill. It's got a couple of low spots. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and get them filled. I've done uh, filled in the the areas here on the wingtips and they're all sanded in but it's coming out very nice I cleaned the uh, the table off so we can finish on it I got this uh, area here that I was talking about that was low filled in it probably could use a little more sanding but the whole thing is it's all about sanding so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the day 21 video with this video getting you the picture of the pilot we're going to post this uh, this part in open forum and post so everybody can see it and see what's inside control line craftsman now <clears throat> the, uh, the rest of this video is a more detailed um, video of how I got to this position. Uh, the sanding, the filleting, so on and so forth. It's probably, I would say there was 11 videos in it, so it's probably an hour and a half to two hours long. But I'll go ahead and post this up and we'll get everybody a look at it. So we'll see you on the next, uh, on day 22.